Hi everyone, I'm Matteo, CEO at Idle Labs and founder of Idle Protocol and DAO. With today's presentation, I'm going to tell you more about the architecture of the protocol, the strategies and assets that are available. And then I'm going to share some more ideas for projects that can be built on top of the protocol. So first of all, I'm going to start from the vision that we got a few years ago. So our vision is that money should never sit still. So in order to do that, we built a protocol that is designed to earn more. We took the concept of optimization and we merged it with the concept of aggregation. We started from lending and then we moved on the yield farming component. We added also a risk management component that I'm going to tell you more later on. And now we're building out some new features like a built-in insurance service for the protocol, a transient risk strategy, and the module for idle staking, both for B2B or B2C users. So idle is a yield aggregator and rebalancing protocol. We have two main allocation strategies, the best yield and the risk adjusted one. Right now we are aggregating all the most solid and reliable protocols in the DeFi space. So Compound, Aave and UYDX. And the assets that are available in the protocol are all the major stable coins for best yield and risk adjusted allocation strategy. We have other assets for the best yield strategies, such as this SUSD, TUSD, a couple of known stable assets like WBTC or ETH. And currently we have in beta phase Rai implementation. So let's take a look at the allocation strategies. So the best yield allocation strategy aims to maximize the interest rate returns on user deposits. And this strategy incorporates the underlying protocol rate functions and level of supply and demand, and finally determines an allocation that achieves the highest interest rate possible after the rebalance take place, of course. Simply looking at the interest rates prior to a rebalance often results in an inefficient allocation as it fails to take account for the impact of the reallocated capital. In order to solve that, we introduced a dynamic allocation mechanism that splits the funds across different protocols to get up an aggregated interest rate that is the highest one. Another allocation strategy that we decided to introduce um, a few years ago is a risk adjusted allocation strategy. If you took the um, optimization component for the returns, it's pretty similar to the best yield allocation strategy. But then we added a layer that weights the allocation in terms of the risk score that each lending protocol has. This risk score, this risk framework um, has been developed with DeFi score and is a single consistent value that measure the protocol risk. We took that uh, weight and we used that in order to weight the allocations that then get um, routed to all the DeFi protocols that are underlying the idle protocol. Just to give you a sense of where the protocol is right now and some more information about it, so right now we have about $250 million in TVL in total value locked in the protocol right now. We always wanted to securitize the protocol since the very beginning, since the very the first version of Idle. We decided to, move, to audit the protocol. We know that audits are not a silver bullet, but still we feel that having other eyes and professional firms that are um, auditing the, our contracts is also a way to show respect to our users. Since the beginning, we started working with one stamp and consensus diligence for the, the security audits on the protocol. And you can find them in our documentation. Uh, the protocol is a community led protocol led by the DAO and the idle token holders. And we're backed by some of the main DeFi VCs in the space, like Consensus, Gumi Cryptos, Dialectic, Long, Long Ash Venture, Dilao, and Greenfield One. So let's get more on some cool Akaton's idea that can be built on top of the protocol. You can see Idle as a yield as a service solution. It's a playground where you can experiment and get that optimized yield to build up many different use cases. 
So as you can see in this slide, we have both upstream and downstream protocols integrations. On the upstream side, I um, want to suggest a couple of, in, of protocols that we really like internally with Idle. So for example, with Alpha Mora, they offer leveraged yield. Their infrastructure allows user to deposit capital and then they can leverage that capital in order to have a multiplier on the yield that they earn. It would be really cool to see an integration where Alpha Mora V2 is deploying capital into Idle, allowing users for both platforms to leverage the yield that is uh, gained via the Idle protocol. Similarly to that with inverse finance and their DCA vaults, we can have that kind of vaults deploying capital into Idle and with the inverse finance implementation, this would allow to then take the yield that is gained via Idle protocol and use that yield, use that uh, returns to buy other tokens like WEBTC or ETH. With Instadap, uh, they have a great platform and protocol. They have been focusing a lot on the dashboard and the automations. And in order to do that, they introduced different connectors. Another cool Akaton idea would be to take the connectors from Instadap and build up a connector that is deploying capital into Idle protocol. Lastly, on the upstream side, we have 88MPH. 88MPH has different uh, bonds strategy for fixed yield, for variable yield, and generally it would be really cool to have an integration where 88MPH products are deploying capital into idle. On the other side, on the downstream side instead, uh, we wanted to suggest a couple of cool ideas. First of all, the Lido integration. So in Idle, we have a strategy that is Idle W ETH. So we are allowing our users to deposit ETH uh, in order to gain a yield on that. But right now we're deploying that capital in AVE and Compound. It would be really interesting to add a new yield source for that strategy. And we found out that Lido could be a really good fit in terms of security and in terms of of course, also profitability for the funds. So it would be really cool to see someone building up an integration where the idle WEF strategy deploys capital also into Lido. Another cool idea could be with Pendle Finance. Pendle Finance is a protocol that allows you to trade future yields via an AMMM implementation. Right now they are, um, they, they have available AVE and Compound. And similarly to Lido, would be really cool to have, um, to allow users, Pendle users to use Idle token in order to trade the future yield that is generated by Idle. Lastly, it's um, more like no financial application, but still really cool. Unlock protocol is a protocol that allow creators, content creators to lock their content and create a subscription economy on, on their content using completely like on-chain transactions. A really cool idea for the hackathon would be to have user depositing into Idle and with the yield that is generated in Idle, they can use that in order to buy up their preferred, their favorite um, subscription in a lock. Think about, imagine like buying up a Defiant uh, subscription just with the yield that is generated with your deposits. So those are all cool ideas. Of course, the sky is the limit. And we are all keen to see many applications and many different use cases. So let's take a deeper look at the protocol documentation. So if you go to developers.idle.finance, you can see a description of all the um, strategies and protocol uh, that we have right now, the architecture of the protocol here in network and code base, you can find all the ABIs and addresses for the contracts. These ones are the one that you should look at when you have to implement a strategy into your product. This is more related to the governance contract. So if you want to build something that is related to governance, that's the section that you have to look for. And generally you can find all the code base and uh, addresses that we're using right now in Idle. If you need to implement Idle tokens into your protocol, you got to look at the interface. 
for idle tokens. So you can find where you can find all the functions that can be used within the idle tokens. All the methods are described here. Of course, the most important ones are the mint idle token and redeem idle tokens. But then you have a plan, you have plenty of other functions that you can use in order to develop a um, good application for the, for the idle strategies into your product. If you have to uh, and you want to develop a strategy with flash loans, we have this section with an overview about how the, uh, the uh, flash loans in idle works. And, and, and as well as an example on how to implement them into your system. Uh, lastly, if you want to integrate a, an underlying protocol into IDLE, so IDLE is deploying capital into a new protocol, this is the interface that you have to look for. If you need any support for the development, um, please reach out to the dev support in our Discord channel. And if you are, uh, if you need to have support and get connected to our developers, look for MX Prime and RTP, which are our coordinators for the Acton. Lastly, I want to show you the community roadmap that we have. So you can go there and just look where the protocol is in terms of development of new features. You can even pick up a new feature that you want to develop then develop it and propose it to our community. We have a community roadmap where you can see all the high levels initiative that will be taken, um, that are in progress or has been done or are still in discussion phase and a more technical Kanban. You can find all the link inside this presentation. If you want to reach out to our lead devs, you got to look for William, Gravity Blast or 8-Bit Porkchop. So that was everything. We are looking forward to see your submissions and we are keen to work more with you on some cool ideas that can be built on top of the protocol. Feel free to reach out even via email or you can find us on Twitter, Telegram and Discord. Cheers. Yo, as a group, we explored the different protocols and I just wanted to give some summaries because we were kind of still learning. Um, as we went um, to, to consolidate the information. So IDLE is basically a yield strategy or uh, aggregator that um, has a strategy for maximizing the best yield across all the DeFi protocols that's plugged into IDLE. And then it also has um, a risk adjusted um, strategy where it iterates through all these DeFi protocols and picks the one that you know is the less riskiest um, and the yield is about 4.41% APY and 5.9% for the best yields. And so like M Mateo, uh, the CEO of Idle Finance, was um, outlining in this yield as a service slide, um, there's some, there's, uh, so there are two prize tracks right now, integrating into other systems, so making sure that other, you know, um, DeFi platforms have exposure to the yield strategies that Idle provides, or adding more uh, strategies into integrating into idle and so if you're wondering you know what are the standard requirements for integrating into idle emix uh, the project manager for the idle uh, treasury um he uh, gave this um criteria for uh developing um the for for seeing whether a protocol is worthy of being integrated into idle and one of the things is a custom audit around 50 million uh locked in and then a 30 percent better than the 30-day idle strategy average which again we saw is like five percent so uh five percent divided by 10 is five times 15 so 15, yeah so like 15 percent uh i think would be a good uh, standard and then what the impact as well so look to these standard requirements if you want to integrate um, a protocol into the idols over yields uh, yield of service protocol um to to use that checklist um to determining whether you want to integrate it but we're going to just briefly go into the websites of alpha Mera, inverse finance instadep and eight, eight miles per hour and then look at lido pendle and unlock as platforms that can integrate idol real quick and so um, Alpha is one of the biggest ones. It got, I think, a billion locked in. I'm not going to connect my wallet because I'm using a different browser. But um, if we just look at uh, not the blog, um, so let's just look at Alpha. But basically, they are about uh, 
for the best yield on, on, on DeFi protocols. And they're also on Binance with, I believe, 8 billion locked in. So let's, um, let's just go to Alpha Finance.io. This is V2. Um, which, um, yeah, maximize returns and minimize the risk is their whole thing about that. So I don't want to basically utilize all their strategies into them and then adjust for risk between platforms. And so this is just some stats about, um, I think it's only a billion locked in actually. Um, but yeah, uh, for leveraging your position in yield and they're specifically for yield farming, which is huge in the DeFi space, especially Polygon, which is what they're on. Instadap, which serves as a way of saving gas between different platforms. Actually, they're the one with 8 billion locked in because they're both on Polygon and ETH. Um, and so that is another protocol that they want in. And then there's 88 miles per hour, which uses fixed interest rate bonds and floating rate bond uh, curves to basically add a fixed interest rate, which all of these are lower, uh, but more stable, at, let's say, um, for, uh, for in terms of fixed APY than idle. And so this is another integration, another feature getting exposed to fixed interest rates that they uh, want. To and there's inverse finance, which is another yield strategy. Their APYs are a little bit more on the safer side, except, you know, on inverse their native token. Uh, but uh, they only have 15 million locked in. And it says that they're not audited um, somewhere on this website. So just be aware of that. That's something also that they suggested. Those are the four, Alpha Homera, um, Instadap, 88 miles per hour, Inverse Finance that they're looking into as being cool projects to plug in. And so um, just to get a sense of what they're working on, there is a community Kanban board where you can see their backlog. Um, they're, they're actually trying to add B Visa card in their backlog and even new strategies and integration to other blockchains like Binance, Smart Chain, and Polkadot. So be on the lookout for that because um, Idle might be something along just in general. And right now they're adding Cream pool together in B protocol and Polygon, which will completely change their TVL, as you've seen with projects like um, like Instadap or Alphamera. And if I were uh, you just based on this, um, I would work on integrating more. Um, that's what I would prefer to add because every uh, you know existing DeFi app that uses Idle, if you integrate Alphamera, then you know by association uh, that will have Alphamera. So, you know, Enzyme uses Idle as an example of something that we use. Um, and so also Instadap and Alphamera are both on Polygon. So in the event that they switch to Polygon, it'll be a pretty seamless transition to also have these in the Polygon um, yield aggregating risk adjusted strategy. And so um, if we want to go into the ones that they said that uh, they want Idle integrated into in Slido, which is basically a way to stake your assets on here. There's a billion locked in right here and over 23 millions in rewards where you can stake in Ethereum and Terra. So um, that's a way to get staking exposure and to also um, get that exposure through idle. Um, and so that's something that they wanted to the integration. Then there's also Pendle, which takes the idea of future yield where you can either you know, sell, um, sell the yield that you're getting at a fixed, uh, rate or you can um, you know liquidity mine the meal tokens and so there's some documentation on that that they were looking on um, here so I would check that and I'll be in the description of this video then there is unlocked uh, which allows people to uh, um, access you know content and apps and communities and real-life events um, and so um, yeah so this can be used for you know tickets and donations and things like that uh, but this is kind of adding a use case to content creation and then having the rewards uh, be generated through idle is what Matea was suggesting. So I wanted to just show all these platforms, put the links in the description and uh, show you, you know, what they're working on and get you uh, used to their community roadmap um, to get a better sense of what to integrate. If you do have any ideas on things to integrate, run it through this checklist and then run it by the team. Um, like uh, Matei was saying, there are dev communities in here, like um, in the DeFi Summer Discord, but there's also in their own Idle Finance, they have a dev support Discord, so I'd get on there and ask them directly. And so, um, again, there's 4,000 in prizes, um, 2,000 for the integration and 2,000 for the implementation of Idle. Um, and so I would strongly consider the things that the CEO is recommending. 
Um, and then also look and play around with these different DeFi protocols, and there may be something that's been overlooked. Um, so yeah, I would definitely check that out. Maybe go to DAP Radar somewhere and look for DeFi protocols and see, you know, are they integrated? Um, um, where can I integrate this? Um, use that as inspiration. So yeah, thanks for coming out and uh, keep us up to date on what you're building on Idle.